good afternoon good afternoon great people of jamaica my name is koku adu jemfi ampofo i'm greeting you humbly with humble respect i speak with my brothers and sisters in jamaica there is something going on which i need to address because it is affecting the whole black populace because Jamaica is the eye of Africa if something goes on well in Jamaica it affects all the black people because Jamaica as I have said many times as Nelson Mandela also said is the strength of Africa a land full of prophets and prophetess Jamaica Lend me your ears, humbly, with respect, I'm talking to you. I give you the honor and I give you all the utmost respect because you represent us as Africans. If Africa has a population of 3 million or 3 billion, each Jamaican, a person from Jamaica stands for not less than 3 million people. Because you are our leaders. You are our prophets and our prophetess. Jamaica, if you look back and you listen to yourself, during the time of reggae music, when Bob Marley, Peter Tosh, Bonnie Wheeler, Benning Spear, Gregory Isaacs, Jacob Miller, and those people were ruling Black people almost got united. We had a very big spiritual upliftment in the life of the black people because it was coming from Jamaica. It was pure and it was holy. It was cleaning us, unifying us as people. And we had the enthusiasm, the happiness, the strength, the courage and the might that the future will be bright for us as people in Africa. The words, the wisdom, the knowledge, the spirituality of the music paved the way for us to love ourselves and to be built spiritually. But now, the music of spirituality in Jamaica from the Rastafarians from our great grandfathers, were spoken by Marcus Garvey, Sam Sharp, William Gordons, Paul Boglo, Nani, Akompong, and others are almost getting lost because today the dance hall music is killing the spirituality of what the people left behind. Keep your culture. Don't be afraid of the vulture. Wisdom is better than silver and gold. Jamaicans, you are people with wisdom. You weigh more than silver and gold. Silver and gold is what you are blessed with. But the wisdom within you is greater than what you can think of. That is why I'm talking to you today. To be on your feet. And remember that you represent millions of black people as a person from Jamaica. If you leave the shores of Jamaica, the respect that is according to you, according to you as a Jamaican, is different. Because the background is good spiritually. But why are you allowing the vulture to steal away your culture of purification, sanctification, and the holiness? And the purity of the music that has been sung by your great grand man. You still have a living legend in the person of Bonnie Wheeler, a living prophet, one of the biggest among all. You have every right, every opportunity, every chance to live up to your expectations without fear or hindrance. Because the land, I have been there, I have seen it with my naked eyes, full, 
filled with spiritual power, but you are giving way for people from other countries to intrude Jamaica with different spirits. But before it goes bad, I need to draw your attention to the fact that you represent Africa. So remember yourself and know who you are under the sun, that you are the blessed land. In the future, there's a the possibility that if you go back to your roots and you pick up the spiritual sense in the wisdom and the power in the music sung by Bob Marley, Peter Tosh, Bonnie Wheeler, Bernie Spear, Gregory Isaac, Jacob Miller, and what you can know, Muta Baruka and the rest, Africa can be on her feet. We are looking forward to you as people. Because you are the people who can hear and tell us how we have to go. You are not many, but you are spiritually filled. But the dance hall music individually sit and read and understand and ask yourself if it helps more than what you knew before, then you can be the judge. If it is not the best, don't think only for yourself. Don't think for your only self-esteem or self-happiness. But think that so far as you are a Jamaican, you represent millions of black people as a person. So think about the masses and then go back to your roots and pick up the music of wisdom. That will help to generate the power that we need to free ourselves from every bondage. I have been there and if you go to the Maroon Lands, why is it that there is peace over there? Because there is no infiltrations. They still keep on to their culture. They keep to their roots. Help us as people in Africa also to keep to our roots. If only you will start singing the songs of wisdom. The songs of praise to the Most High God who created us. Whose power encompasses the universe. Who has given Jamaica the wisdom. To sing the songs of praises that Africans will follow and we all live in peace and unity. Blessed the people of Jamaica. Blessed the children of the Most High. Blessed for the wisdom that has come to you. Take it and let's live up. For our time is up as black people to rule. And you are our leaders. You are our prophets. You are our prophetess. I've been there through the invite of Paul Boglo Foundation with the help of Sinclair and I know what I'm saying. Never let the toil of Marcus Garvey and the rest be in vain. Blessed be to the people of the Most High Jamaica. Blessed.